Welcome back. In this presentation, I'll show you how to create a simple mask in Photoshop. Uh, with this particular image, I want to create a mask in the shape of a DVD CD label so that I can see what will be printed and what will not be printed. With this image, I have it exactly five inches tall. It also happens to be the shape or the size rather of a DVD label. So I'm going to need to make use of the entire height of this image. The image horizontally is bigger than five inches, so I have a little bit of latitude as to where the center of that label will be. To start with, to aid me, I am going to go ahead and drag some guides. To do that, click up in the toolbar, the ruler, click and hold, and drag down. And again, I need to get this one at exactly two and a half. There it is. The other one I have some latitude. I can go from about two and a half to about four and a half. And I'm going to make it right there. So now I have my two guidelines. That's where I want the center of my circles. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to use the ellipse tool. The ellipse tool can be uh, uh, can be given some options. And we can do that by clicking the little pull down. And what we want is a fixed size, make it easy for us so we don't have to drag it to the precise shape. And as I said, it'll be five inches in diameter. So I'll put five for both. So I get a perfect circle. I do want it from the center. That's going to help me draw it from where the cursor is positioned. And so I will position on my crosshairs and that gives me exactly five inches. I've got my snap set, so snapping to my guides and release it. And that then gives me my circle. Now, a DVD label also has a hole in the middle. So we need to also remove a section of this circle. To do that, we'll go back up. And this time, we'll put in the size of that hole. They do vary from CD to DVD labels. Uh, in our case, we're going to use 0.75 inches. And we want it to be a perfect circle, so I'll put that in for both still from the center, but now I want to subtract that from this shape. So I'll go up to my modifiers and I'll pick subtract. I'll position at my crosshairs. I'll then click and there's my three quarter of an inch circle and it's been removed. That has created then a mask and I have a particular color. And what I want to do is apply this mask to all of these items. I think the easiest way to do that is to create what's called a group. So I'll click on this folder type icon, create a group, and I need to place all of these items, except for my background that is locked, into that group. So I'll click and hold and drag those. Those are now all in that group. Being in a group, I can control those as a group. I can control them all, whether they're visible or not. And because they are in a group, I can also mask them. So I'm taking this mask and I'm dragging it up to the group and then I'm releasing. I'm not interested in this color anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that shape layer. So, yes. So what I'm left with then is a group that is being masked in this shape. And everything that is in that group is masked. So now I have my DVD looking shape. I can take this mask and if I right click on it, I can disable it. So temporarily I can disable that mask. I can see everything as it normally would be. I could enable it. If I wanted to, I could also delete that. I'm going to leave it enable. That concludes on how to make a simple mask in Photoshop.